and welcome to another video by Double D and Josh. Now, this video isn't really a tutorial, it's more an explanation of how the 3DS um, works so we can see it in 3D. But first, how do we see it in 3D? Well, our eyes have two different images, and each of these images um, produces a different perspective on an object, and our brain pieces them together um, to make one, ob one 3D image. So, say you're looking at a 3D object, um, your right eye will see a slightly different angle of it than your um, left eye, and so your brain puts it together, and you can see a different perspective makes an image. And this is how 3D cameras work. Cameras which record 3D films are placed next to each other, like a camera with two lenses or two different cameras, and they each record a different image, which is then pieced together digitally um, to create a 3D image. Um, so you've got the two different images being pieced together. Now, um, there are many ways in which we have discovered how to view 3D. Um, one of the ones which is most common is probably the 3D anaglyph. Um, now, the way this works is um, two different images are displayed um, with different cameras on a screen uh, in the colours red and blue. And we wear the glasses um, so we can only see red images through the the eye which has the red filter over it and blue um, through the one which has the blue filter over it. This means that we can't see any of the images which we aren't meant to see. We're meant to, we can only see the ones with the correct colour. And that does work but it means you cannot see any colour because any images you can't see are just black and the only ones you can see are either red and, or blue which gives a funny sort of purpley colour. So recently the big 3D TV manufacturers have started using these glasses which um, are controlled, they are ele electric, and what they do is they flash images um, on your right eye and your left eye um, very quick, something like 240 frames per second, um, and that gives a different effect of 3D with colour. Also, there's ones when you go to the cinema, um, and they're clear glasses, but you can still see 3D. They work in a slightly different way again, I don't know how they work very well. Um, but now the um, now Nintendo have launched the 3DS, which you don't need glasses for at all. And I'm going to explain how it works through Minecraft. Okay, so I'm, I'm in Minecraft, and I'm going to explain to you how a 3D um, a 3DS works. Now I was explaining about the different images which need to be displayed um, on the right and the left eye, and on the 3DS screen. They are lined up in parallel bars, vertical bars, like this. Let's pretend this is a segment off of the screen. Obviously, there'd be thousands lined up much closer. Now, the blue ones would be one image, and the um, red ones would be the, another image, which have been recorded differently um, using different cameras, and they need to be directed to different eyes. But there's no glasses required, so there's no red and blue glasses or any flashing glasses or anything. Now the way this works is there's like a filter, like this one, in front of it. Uh, I've got a pink DS because I like pink DS's. All right. And the magic zone, or I don't know what it's called, the good viewing spot maybe, is for example back here. And what this would be is here is the location of the right eye and you can see that you can only see red bars well pretty much anyway my, my location isn't perfect but that is also because of the size of this um, and then my left eye is only going to see this image which is only blue you can only see blue now and that is the way that um, you can guide the images to different eyes. Imagine that this is a face, your left eye is there, your right eye is there. If you get the right spot, obviously it wouldn't be wonky to it, they they have planned that better. But um yeah, you can see both images, put them together, um it digitally, your brain automatically does it because it's used to seeing 3D. And there you go, you got a 3D 3D image. Uh that's the end of this um explanation. Uh, thanks for watching, and please come back for more, and please subscribe.